everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Fairy Tale Mysteries, The Puppet Thief. So, the last episode, we found out that the Silver Magician, the guy that's working with us, was not able to find his daughter. He's worried that she's in the mob outside. And the mob, if you guys need a reminder, destroyed this little caravan, this little wagon. Okay. And also... We saw creepy dude here, and um, the Grim Brothers figured this guy is not human. Okay. So we have a hidden object scene here. Okay. So what's really cool here, what I like is that the things we found in the last hidden object scene for this, the objects are no longer there. That's really cool. That's a nice way to keep things consistent and keep things flowing, is when you have that memory that, um... Okay, it just falls. <laughs> is when you have that memory that you've already been here, and it looks like you've already been here, because things you found previously, they are gone. Okay, that's baseball. There it is. It's very faint, I can barely see it. Okay, we found some pliers. So, can we cut cut this open? Hopefully we can. No. Open the glass door. Oh, we can cut. oh but there's a moon key! I just- that was so tiny! <laughs> moon key! Here we go. Here we go. It's a star key! Okay. So let's go back to the gate. Get to that creepy dude. So we can open this up. There we go. Ah, uh, it's a little star key. <laughs> Click two tiles and swap their positions. Keep swapping tiles until they light up and form an image. Okay, so the middle part is like a free spot in bingo. Where you get the middle part free. So I just keep lining this up until everything lights up. And here we go. Okay. Hello. Oh, I saw the strings. That is definitely not human. Hmm. Okay. There's a guy reading That's where he went. There's something there. That's a mean looking rat. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Looks like we need to appease the rat. So, a place we can go there. There's a place here. So that, that is a chisel. Let's see. Hello. My only child. gone. This is no normal disappearance. Others were taken, and all my spells to find her. Nothing. Wherever my dear heart is gone, my magic cannot seek her out. A darkness surrounds her. I'm sorry, yes. There was something. We were so strict. The children, they snuck away. A puppet theater, that's where they were heading. Find her. Promise me. I'll try, dude. I saw the creepy guy outside. Okay, so... We have a rag. Oh! Abershire Post. Missing children throws Abershire into mourning. Loss, a too frickin' visitor, has returned to the town of Abershire. Once a year, when the moon is waxing, children have been disappearing, never to be heard from again. The town crier shouts their names from his post as passerby bow their head in remembrance. The list is lengthy, many of the children missing for a decade and remember only by their family. What could be done? Inspectors tasked with finding the missing children have no suspects. The trail, if there ever was one, is now cold. 
Locals suspect the cause is not natural, while the Abershire mayor and his council have placed a curfew on anyone lower than the age of 18, begging all to stay indoors when the sun is down. Others lacking in civility have formed a band who walk the streets at night hunting for evildoers. Okay, from the Grimm Brothers, more often than not, monsters and the like prey on the old and the very young. That sounds a lot like disease. The very old and the very young are the closest to the veil, closer to magic, and it's easier for them to see the monsters. Unfortunately, most people are unlikely to listen to the fears of these victims. Next time a child tells you a monster is under their bed, believe them and look! Okay. How many of you guys had parents that would look under the bed whenever you would tell them there was a monster or there was a monster in your closet? My parents did that. Uh, they didn't just tell me, it's just your imagination, go back to sleep. They actually looked. <laughs> okay. Okay. These darts were not very ordinary. Curious. There seems to be an overall pattern. The symbols must serve some importance. There is no coincidence. I am taking notes of their design for later use. These symbols look very much like the ones on the door at the back of the bar. Someone must have left the darts on the board as a hint to the combination. First, I thought this was a PlayStation controller, but no, it's just an X, a triangle, a square. Okay. Okay, so. Darts are. 8, 9, and 4. Eight, nine, and four, so triangle, pitchfork, and spade. Okay. Something is missing. Okay, so I have to put stuff here before we enter the code. Okay. Lamp is not lit. We still have to figure out a way to get that fire, by the way. Because there was kerosene we spilled over. There was a fire that was in um, a barrel. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing else here we can look at. Okay. There's another barrel. There's a rat we have to get some food for. Make sure he's happy. There's another area we can go to. Oh! Okay, there's a hidden object scene there, but... You know what? Play, let's play Devil's Advocate. Let me go to the hidden object scene. <laughs> okay. There's a sock. Okay, we have a blue disc. Now! Is he still there? Yep, he's still there! Looking creepy. What's up here? You have something. That bird has something in his claws, but I can't reach it. Okay. Anything else? Okay, still the bird. Okay, got a new entry. Looks like we need a lion's face there. Okay. Beyond these gates, it appears as though I can access the sewers and possibly the cemetery. Boneyards are always filled with magic and should offer more clues. First, there must be a way to get through these gates. Gates. They symbolize a passage from one world to the next, often protecting sacred space. They are usually guarded by powerful animals in stone, be it a lion, tiger, bull, or dog. Locked gates are associated with secret wisdom. It is best to hold your breath tight as you pass through the arches to keep your wits and your secrets your own. Now, let's get to Creepy Dude. Whoa! That was impressive. Okay, another magic gram. 
The magician's daughter was whisked away. Had I not seen her with my own eyes, I would be in doubt. She appeared to be pulled on strings. They were luminescent and infused with some sort of magic. I wonder if all the children were taken thusly. We have never sent an examiner to investigate a mystery such as this alone, and now our seer tells us the daughter of our dear friend, the super magician, has been captured. We worry for you, and we are struggling now to bring you aid. We know you will persevere and will reach out, and will reach out to you again soon. Brothers Grimm. Okay, we're going in alone, but we are blocked by a cart. A fruit cart. Be great if it was just a cabbage cart. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing to click on. Oh, the wheel is broken. Any way to fix it? Okay. Let me see. Anything I can do now? I don't think so. Uh, something we can do for the rat. Sorry, rat. Nothing there either. Oh, got a torch stick. Ah, that's where we can get the fire. Okay. So, let's go grab the fire. not gonna work like that? No. Can we combine things? No, we can't. Put the bag in the fire? No. Oh, maybe we have to put the stick in the kerosene. No. The rag in the kerosene? Yes. Okay. Need to find some of the wrap the rag around. We can use the stick. Yes, we can. And now we have a torch. We have fire somewhere. Fire. Okay. There we go. Yay! And we have a lit torch. Okay. now? Yes, we can. Okay! Ah, we found another spot. But we will get back to that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!